the truth about Nikola Jokic. Continuing to dominate the league in every advanced stat, Jokic has carried the Nuggets to a 4-0 record without their second option, Jamal Murray. He doesn't get the attention that Curry, LeBron, or Embiid get, but you're about to see why the Joker deserves our respect, and stay tuned to see if I think he'll take home the MVP. 16.5% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you're looking for consistent NBA stories, predictions, and rankings, you came to the right place. Quick shout out to Michael, who says Kemba changing his game over the last 10 outings has turned around the Celtics, going on to say people better be careful writing them off. Thanks, Mike, for the great take. Later on is the question for next video shoutout. Even after Jamal Murray tragically tore his ACL, the Serbian sensations giving hope to fans in the mile high that their team can still make a deep run in the playoffs this year. With the loss of his second option, we're getting to see who Nikola Jokic really is, and that's a bona fide superstar. Earlier this week, he posted the first 47.15 rebound and 8 assist game by a center since Akeem Olajuwon did it in 1996. That was Jokic's second 47-point game of the 2020-21 season. When faced with adversity, it's in these moments where an NBA player's mental toughness is exposed and we get to see what they're made of. And without the all-star caliber guard and the blue arrow next to him, Nikola just became the second player in the last 30 seasons with 75 points, 30 boards, and 15 dimes over a two-game span. With an elite combination of footwork, shooting touch, and strength, not to mention all-time great passing, Jokic makes up for his lack of athleticism and speed, but you could argue that the qualities Nikola possesses are even more valuable than those of the man who's won MVP for the last two seasons in Giannis Adetokounmpo. Hear me out, maybe the Greek freak will deliver a championship this year, but think about what's cost him in the playoffs since his first appearance way back in 2015. His lack of a versatile offensive repertoire. Jokic doesn't have that problem, but with Giannis, opposing defenses crowd the paint for 70% of his attempts to come from 10 to 16 feet, and his career shooting percentage from that distance is at a measly 32%. And Jokic is shooting an efficient 53.7% from 10 to 16 feet in his two playoff appearances, and it's led to much more success. After Giannis's first three trips to the playoffs, he only had nine wins, while Jokic, after only two seasons of going to the postseason so far, already has 15 wins. In terms of this season, it's not only losing Jamal Murray in heartbreaking fashion that Jokic has had to deal with, but Michael Porter Jr. missed nearly three weeks to tip off this season. A crucial role player in Paul Millsap has missed 12 games, and one of the best backup guards in basketball in Monte Morris has missed 14 games. But despite the odds stacked against him, Nikola's kept the Nuggets afloat. Proving his value, Jokic is the second player to pass 2,000 minutes this NBA season, and the only MVP candidate to have passed 1,900 minutes played. And like a top two player in the world would, the Joker's coming through when his team needs him most. In clutch scenarios, aka the last five minutes of the fourth quarter, Jokic is second in rebounding, third in scoring, fourth in assists, and he's shooting 52.4%. In these crucial moments, Jokic is even tied for the second most steals in the league. Lastly, during the final minutes of the game, Nikola's defensive rating has significantly improved, and if he maintains the pace he's currently on, he'll be posting one of the most dominant single-season campaigns that we've ever seen. Jokic leads the NBA in win shares, offensive win shares, win shares per 48 minutes, box plus minus, and offensive box plus minus. No one's ever led the league in all five of those categories. Colin Cowherd's latest case against the Nuggets center winning the NBA's most valuable player included a line about the Joker having a bad body. Nikola Jokic, Denver, bad body, I understand. And after ESPN's Rachel Nichols recently went after Jokic's defense and took a swipe at Jokic's MVP chances in comparison to Embiid, there is another side of the court, so that has to matter also. And again, that is not a knock on Nikola Jokic. But, He's extremely qualified. Yeah, I and, and, just yeah. don't get. And we're talking the just about the discounting MD. of Joel, Joel out about, of this conversation. We're talking about. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. You're making money. Come on. I mean, come on, man. Come on. In 27 minutes, Nicola came out and dropped 29 points, 
on 10 of 12 shooting to go along with 16 rebounds, seven assists, and two steals. Despite Colin Cowherd throwing fat jokes at him, Jokic lost 25 pounds last year, which he's kept off. He's racked up 36 dunks this season. He'd managed only 34 dunks in the previous three seasons combined. Jokic is far more mobile than the mainstream media has painted him as, and the deep bag that he has offensively from 23 feet all the way through to the paint should be given much more respect and attention. Next, I'll let you know if Jokic is my MVP, but first we have to look at the elements to Nikola's game and the Nuggets' offense that have allowed him to dominate. Despite losing their second option, Nikola Jokic is making everyone around him look damn good. But to be fair, he does still have debatably the best set of players around him that he's ever had, even without Jamal Murray, as blasphemous as that sounds on the surface. Now hear me out. Nikola can handle running an offense. Of course, they'll miss the pure shot creation of Murray to bail them out. But to be honest, the Joker just needs players around him who are comfortable with taking a ton of spot up threes and who are efficient at the rim. Michael Porter Jr. is developing into a superstar. Aaron Gordon's off-ball awareness and slashing in transition have also been crucial in Mike Malone's system. Similarly to Nikola, Nuggets head coach Mike Malone also fails to get the recognition he deserves. The previously unknown 5'10 Argentinian point guard Facundo Campazzo has been an excellent floor spacer, and even their most recent signing of Austin Rivers played well in his debut. I could make a separate video entirely on the Nuggets supporting cast with guys like Will Barton, Monte Morris, PJ Dozier, and the veteran Paul Millsap, but for now we'll stick to their potential MVP. The first 47 point game Nikola dropped this year was against the number 4 ranked defense in the Utah Jazz, where he showed off his guard like ability by knocking down 4 3 pointers and creating shots off the dribble. As you can see, Rudy Gobert just has no clue whether Nicole is driving or shooting because the Joker's picking and choosing his spots so effectively. While the improved quickness helps Nicola's slashing, it's also how he sells defenders on thinking he's taking a jump shot with his footwork and body language and seamlessly transitions into his drives to the basket. He's turning into an absolute scoring master, but other than those qualities, as well as what he's made a reputation off in his passing, the three most dominant weapons in the Joker's bag are his post-up game, his in-between game, and his rebounding. But we'll focus on how he gets it done down low in the post and how he handles being run off the three-point line and pulling up for mid-range shots and floaters. After setting a screen, Nicola always rolls hard to the rim and right when he catches the pass, the man's extremely decisive. He either two-steps for a layup, hop-steps for a layup, and just sit back and admire this up fake, one dribble, spin move, pump fake again to get Brandon Clark questioning his life. Some nasty stuff from the Joker, but as you can see, Nicola is not some strictly passing magician that every top figure in the sports media views him as. Don't get me wrong, he's the greatest dime dropper at center in league history, but a lot of analysts fail to bring up how well-rounded Nicola's offensive game is. Jokic can get it done from anywhere on the floor, so coaches in the playoffs are going to have a tough time game planning for him over a seven game series. But is he the MVP? Some people have made the case for Stephen Curry, who up until shooting 2 of 14 against the Washington Wizards was the hottest player in the league. There's Philly's beast down low in Joel Embiid, who was the front runner before missing 15 straight games with a knee injury. You can probably cross LeBron's name off the list at this point because he's still out with an ankle injury. There's also dark horse candidates like Luka Doncic, Damian Lillard, and Giannis, but the two main threats to Nikola are Curry and Embiid. So will one of those two win it, or will it be the Joker? Here's the ultimate stat that could push Nikola over the top in this race. The Nuggets center has the largest win share gap between the second ranked player in that area since Stephen Curry's first ever unanimous MVP trophy in 2016. Like Steph was that year, Jokic has been visibly and statistically the most valuable player in the league by far, so I think he wins the trophy in 2021. But I want to know who you think will win the MVP down below. Best answer gets next video shout out. This was D Flow, and I'll see you next video.